Kids, my wife Mrs. Priyanka Sharma's death happens before me. If wife dies before the bill writer, all the money collected from the ABAP policy should be converted into a children benefit plus capital. My son named Pulkit Sharma and my daughter named Chaya Sharma will be the ultimate beneficiaries of this trust after attaining the age of 21 years for each of them. I appoint my brother Mr. Sushil Sharma and his wife Mrs. Shweta Sharma as trustee of the ABAP trust if it is created at all. Now you are saving the situation if wife is no more and everywhere particularly in this life insurance policy wife is claimant and if wife is no more what should be done in your absence? You have designed it. Employee benefits. <coughs> I am an employee of such or some organization. I am eligible for several employee benefits from my employer. After my death, all the benefits like provident fund, gratuity, insurance, leave attachment, etc. either mentioned or not mentioned here. Either mentioned or not mentioned here, but part of your package from your employer if you are no more. I name my wife as 100% beneficiary for all such employer benefits. Even those properties either movable or immovable. This line includes your future mutual funds, your future stocks, your bonds, your debentures, because movable or immovable property, which I have not mentioned ever or I may acquire in future, should be handed over with 100% rights to my wife. Clear? Only one issue is there in this bill as it was a very plain bill. It was not a complex affair like Peter Mukherjee. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. For example, the ex-person, uh, husband has a nominated spouse is along in the all the those most of them. But the met on accident, both have died, what will be happen? If both are promo, you can write add any form, just like uh, I added uh, this, uh, this thing here about insurance policy. You can add info here, the in case both, uh, even wife is not available, then all the money, all the assets investments can be converted to children benefit trust under the trusteeship of wife, brother and his wife, so and so. Ultimately, it is your money, it is your asset, it is your investments and you need to properly guide it how you want to transfer it to your loved ones. It may be your wife, it may be your children, it may be your parents, it may be your siblings. It is your choice. It is merely giving you an example to think over. I am not saying this is the one and only solution. No, it is not. But it is go giving you a thought to ponder on. It is giving you an idea how you should think about your will. One important aspect which is not in this will is the executor. Because it was a play will. It may happen if uh, you want to give some part of your asset investments to your brother, to your sister and your spouse is not happy with that thing. Then there may be friction in the family. So in your absence, you should depute, executor, maybe your uh, good friend, maybe someone from your uh, office, maybe some close relative, which has or have the responsibility to execute the will. It is his or her responsibility to make it happen that all the claimants are getting their use as designed as wished by you in your absence. Yes, please. Oh, in case uh, the death of both the parents happen and it goes to the children benefit trust, whatever the rental income that incurs uh, that is being uh, that the income comes, that will be go, uh, moved to the trust or it's going to be handled by the uh, guardians? Once husband and wife both are no more and children beneficial trust has been created, all the income accruing from the assets and investment will go to that trust and will be taxable only, only in the name of that trust. Children being minor, are not the claimant of that money. Only that trust is claimant on behalf of children and any tax liability rests with trust. Anything else?
let go. So this does not need to be uh, witness. So what is this? Does not need to be witness. No. Uh, the bill is very for witness. So what is the minimum criteria to make it legal? There are two witnesses. Now, this will can be kept in plain A4 white paper within your house, within your locker, signed by you as well as signed by two witnesses. But in your own interest, it is beneficial to avoid any dispute later on. Please get it registered in the same office where you are registering your home, house properties. Your homes you are listing, the property registrar office that is also responsible for registration of bills and it is very easy process to get it registered there. You need to contact any local advocate and very small fees there for the registration of bill, maybe some 500, 700 or 1000 rupees you need to check with your Chennai office. And at the time of registration, the person who is creating the bill, he with his KYC, the two witness with their KYC documents need to be present in front of register office. He will do the registration work and the scanned copy of this bill will be kept in the records of government. I am not sure about Tamil Nadu, but at least in Gujarat where I am belonging as of now. Government of Gujarat is keeping the scanned version of this whole this bill with them. So in case of any dispute later on, you can claim the scanned copy from the government record itself. Is, is there any uh, registration of who should be the witness? Preferably, preferably, the beneficiaries should not be the witness if there is any conflict of interest between the beneficiaries. If you are giving more money to your brother and sister and less money to your own wife or vice versa, then witness should be, normally witness should be third party who is not getting any benefit from your business. It may be your friends, it may be your neighbor, it may be your office colleague. Preferably, the person who is not going to get any benefit from the bill. Executor cannot be witness. Yeah. Executor cannot be witness. Executor can be witness. Executor can also can be a witness. It is up to you to decide. Any more queries regarding bills? Yes. Yeah, Estate can, planning? Yeah. The bill can override succession act. The bill can override succession act. What is say thing is if you die. Without a will, if you die without a will, then it is called intestate death. In case of intestate death, the religion, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, succession act will decide who should get what and how much. And each and every one will be the claimant there. You are not good with your brother. Even he can claim if there is no will. You are not with, uh, good uh, with your father or mother, still they can claim. That's why you should write a will to avoid such harsh situations. And moreover, like in this, to enhance this one, like if there is a no will, the person will, the succession person will not be aware, like what is he holding? Yeah, that is also that's a one of the plus point for having a bill. In the first session, you told action plan insurance. Will is part of that action plan. Apart from the bill itself, your family, at least your spouse, should be aware what are your demand holdings, uh, where is your bank account, where is your mutual fund holdings, where are your bonds, where are your debentures, how much money is kept, where, how much investments are there. At least your spouse, and along with your spouse, one good trusted friend should be there. It is up to you to decide who is trustable to you, who is trustworthy. It is up to you to decide. I cannot decide for each one of you. It is up to you to decide. Any more query for will the estate planning? Are there any restrictions on inherited properties? Like, can be 
hold 100 percent authority over it, or is there any restrictions that we inherit it, then somebody else also owns? Say, if, for example, uh, your say inheritance of there are two kinds of inheritance. But your grandfather, forefathers, for having a property, and now it, it is third, fourth, fifth generation. But immediate inheritance, your father or your mother created some property, and they are no more. So when there is no will, there are so many claimants for inheritance. In case of forefather, third, fourth, third, fourth generation of first property, there are so many scattered claimants. But in case of your own father's, your own mother's property, only you and your siblings are there. In, even in all the cases, it is advisable to have a will in place. Even for example, my uh, own parents, I have advised them to write a will and to keep it with them. So that I have only two siblings, me and my brother. And both of us are very good in terms between us. But still, I have asked my father and mother to clearly write down how they want to distribute their assets and investment between two of us. So that after my parents, there should not be any thing between me and my brother on the basis of assets and investments. Regarding the taxation of inheritance, as I told earlier, inheritance at that time of receipt is tax free. Inheritance at the time of receipt is tax free. After the receipt, whatever income is generated from that inheritance, it is taxable in the name of recipient. Whoever is receiving the inheritance, for example, you receive a property from your father. Now it is generating a rental income. So that rental income is now taxable to you. Or there was an FD. And now this FD belongs to you. So any income generated from that FD belongs to you, taxable to you. Any more? Yeah. Yes, Baron and Fitton was here. This bill is anyway covering those that are not mentioned also, right? Because of that additional clause. So is it wise to, you know, mention only a few uh, set of the properties that you hold and then register it? Because if you mention too many and uh, some bank in the register office might send a robbery to robber to my home yeah. the next week of <laughs> very dangerous to declare identity. It doesn't happen. And if that, uh, this happens, <laughs> nobody can help. <laughs> because it is anyway covering the whole uh, set of generally, generally, what is written, what is the content of will, registrar people do not check the contents. Okay. They merely Okay, okay, okay. And you need to sign on each and every page. Being will writer, you need to sign each and every page. And registrar will seal it, stamp it, sign it at the last page also. And uh, mark with date and identification number. Every government document has an identification number. So every registration will have an identification number on each and every page of will. It may be of 15, 20 pages also, subject to your complex situation, which I am not aware. So registrar people will only scan it and keep in their records. If, if that happens, uh, I cannot help. No, his, his thoughts are like, uh, most of these things are done by agents, so there is something practically he's talking about. So if that is the case, he is very well... No, even, even, say, you are not having cash in your yes. house. All the things are ultimately out of your reach on day to day basis. Money is either in form of mutual fund units, stocks, bonds, debentures, bank account holdings. So money is direct, not, not directly in your reach, so you can give to robber. Yeah, the kidnap kind of thing is happening there all. <laughs> but you are not in Bihar, you are in Kedan. Then what would you suggest in case of in this, uh, what that kind of scenario? We can have a POA power of power. Uh, Pardon? POA. Power of attorney. Yeah. For what? It, like uh, we can give a power of attorney to uh, spouse. Just in case of I am not there. Power of attorney is given to her, whatever. So everything will be in her name only, right? Banks, in most cases, do not entertain POAs to handle bank accounts. POAs are not allowed. In most cases. A will can be disputed in a court of law. See, under the situation, uh, the will executor has written everything to his mother. His wife is not getting anything. 
after the death of the will executor, his wife can con contest the will. If it is a registered will, even then it can be contested in the code. Don't <coughs> mind the fact. But once it is registered, it have a greater authority on all your assets and investment. If it is not registered, then it can be challenged very easily. But if it is a registered will, it does has a authority, signatured by Maestra. And if in case of need, if it is a higher dispute, for example, uh, if you can recall the Priyamka Bidla case, Dodha, all the assets, assets of Bidla family, uh, particularly Priyamka Bidla, was handed over under a will to her CA, R.I. Lodha, if some of you people recall, from Kolkata. And Bidla other family members contested a lot, but still now that uh, CA is not also no more, uh, he also has, but his family, Lodha family is now controlling that particular business empire belonging to Priyamada Bidla, now controlled by that CA. So under a will, you can give your assets to non relatives also. And being a registered will, it will prevail. Regarding the will, once the person given died, it becomes void. Pardon? Power of attorney. Power of attorney. Yeah, power of attorney is void. Once given. Once it is a person is no what, PO is of no use. No, that is not useful. Yeah. Can a person can write his own will or only advocate can write this? It is written by himself or with help of mind. You can write, say, it is your asset, it is your investment, and it is your choice how you want to distribute your assets and investments in your absence. There is no technical knowledge involved in writing this. If you feel, if you feel that you may take help of an advocate, but till this point, do you feel any technical jargon was there? It was written by me. I am saying this, it was written by me. As first I asked the person, what do you want? Based upon the feedback given by the person, whose will is this? I prepared this way and he was happy, okay, it is covering what I want, how I want, where I want. So this way you can write the own will, even it can be handwritten also. If you want, handwritten also, typed also, electronic type, laptop, computer, MS Word, whatever you want to do it. And then once it is written down or typed down. Being a uh, will writer, you need to sign each and every page and at the last, along with witness, it gets registered. Your signature as well as witness signature will happen in front of registrar, the officer, who is going to register your will. Is that language given importance? Like, yeah. Should we have to write the will in local language also? Yes, vernacular language. Or you may write in Tamil, you may write in Malayalam, you may write in Kannada, you may Hindi, English, Punjabi, Asmi, Bengali, anyway, all like vernacular language are allowed for your own will because it is your will. If you are comfortable, for example, uh, Amarati family, although he is in Chennai, but if he is comfortable in his own mother tongue Marathi, he will write it in Marathi. He can write it. No issue. Should we stamp paper? Should it be stamp paper? Uh, this is a state subject. Uh, so, for particular, how much uh, value of stamp you need to put in 100 rupees, 200 rupees, 50 rupees, that you need to check with the concerned property register officer. Anything else? Please be free. Even without wait, if you want to discuss something else, we can discuss. No issue that uh, if you want to know only will, other than will, if anything related to personal finance you want to discuss right now, we can discuss. It is not mandatory that you discuss only with. I am presenting a uh, presentation on will. It is not related that you discuss only with. You will, whatever you want to discuss, please feel free. So, uh, so the the will, uh, the person who writes the will, uh, he can write it on his own. Right? Suppose uh, if one of the uh, person who is uh, not with him and he is uh, elsewhere, and uh, probably he might not be aware of, you know, he is writing his will, and can he? Go and dispute it, or uh, something like you know, something like a sibling who doesn't aware of uh, you know his father has written a will. I said it already with the that uh, Bidla example. If a will is registered, court cases can be filed 
cases can be filed, but at the end of the day, the court will result if the order as the bill is registered, it is full and final bill and whatever content is there in that registered bill, it is full and final. If it is a registered bill or non-registered bill, court may take a view that uh, may be case of some force writing. But if it is a registered bill, that will prevail. <coughs> Anything else? Term insurance, health insurance, will. Yeah, please. In past session, no, there is a fund one year FD, you can compare with the payment of the more the same you told to But there is a called the arbitrage fund, we can able to have a tax at 15% only, no? Arbitrage funds? Yeah. Arbitrage funds are treated as equity funds. For the taxation purpose, you know, but the fund is secure only, compared to debt only. Arbitrage funds are not as secure as debt fund because they are playing with the arbitrage opportunity, and that arbitrage opportunity may backfire. What is happening in arbitrage fund? So how they are how they are managing? What is arbitrage? It's a, uh, it's a future option only. Uh, the option, they uh, take a, some little bit bigger and uh, some 30 percent You are, you are taking two different positions. In average, but you are taking two different positions. And most of the time, you are trying to maintain ultimately a slightly winning situation. But in absurd market condition, there may be a possibility of loss also. In absurd market condition. So your arbitrage fund may not be as safe comparatively as a debt fund. It may provide negative return. Although theoretically it is not possible, but in practical market situation, your arbitrage fund may provide negative return. First thing. Second thing is arbitrage fund is not as liquid as your liquid fund or short term fund, ultra short term debt fund. It is not as liquid. There are restrictions or withdrawal from your arbitrage fund. And as for said in first session, please do not put too much focus on short term tax saving. Please do not put too much focus. For short term, please focus on capital protection. For long term, yes, please focus on R. But again, with my Kaurupati slide, even R is not under your control beyond the point. You may invest in 4% saving bank account, you may invest in 7-8% bank FD, you may invest in equity mutual fund to earn 10, 12, 15, 18 percent, but there is not at all any guarantee of earning consecutively that 12, 14, 15, 18 percent in the linear way. Over the long run, you may get, but you may not get also. There is also a possibility that you may not get 18 percent in the linear way. And even after 15, 20, 25 years, you may not get at all 18 percent. You may remain with 10 percent, 11 percent, 12 percent, 13 percent. Apart from online, we are in investment. So we can go for investment, tax purpose, we can say. NPS, in a sense, is a replacement of what we are having as 40K US, social security. We are moving in that direction. We have not reached at that place. NPS is trying to fill the gap that was there. All those organized sector workers who are beneficiary of EPF, PF, and all those unorganized workers who are not having the benefit of PF. Now through NPS, government is trying to fill that gap. It is a work in progress, under construction. Now for the pupil who can manage the things on their own, they should avoid at least for the time being NPS in its current avatar. When the things are more smooth in NPS, the negativity which we, are, we and Patu are highlighting, if those negative things are answered out properly, then we will think for NPS also. But only and only for income tax purpose, please do not invest in any instrument, not only NPS. 
Only and only income tax purpose, please do not invest in any instrument. Whatever tax saving you want to have, please list out your properties, list out your financial goals and invest accordingly. If you are having EPF, it is a sizable check of that 1.5 lakh rupees. If you are having kids and kids are going to school, the fee you are paying to their school, it is available for set off under ATC limit. If you are paying term one PDF, it is available for setup. So, if you are going forward after 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 years, the actual amount required within the ATC limit will be very less for investment purpose. And that you can fill easily either from ELSS or from uh, PPF or even from EPF. So, look at the things in totality. Do not focus only and only on tax savings. Yeah, please. Uh, on home loan. Yeah. Suppose you are in a very good job and you can afford the home loan, you make payment. Suddenly there can be volatile in the market. You lose your job and what kind of you are not able to make the EMI. There are chances that you go to the bank and tell them and get the EMI now. Right? How does this affect you on the long term? So, asking bank to reduce the EMI is one thing. And not paying your EMI at all is another thing. So, which case you are talking about? The reduction of the reduction of EMI is possible with discussion to your bank. If your bank allows, considering your current situation, normally banks will allow. Because if you are not going to pay any EMI, then it is a total loss to bank. So reduction in EMI is possible. Bank will listen. I am not saying bank will happily agree immediately. But if you pursue your case, Bank may allow reduction of EMI, but at any point of time, your EMI may not go below down your interest part. For example, if you are paying a EMI of 40,000 rupees, out of which 33,000 rupees is interest part. So at any given point of time, you your EMI cannot go below 33,000. You need to pay 34,000, 35,000, but at least that much. Any more queries? Yeah, term, term policy. Yeah. Uh, if the sum assured uh, dependent on net worth of a person, for example, if I ask for two crores, can the provider say? Normally, yeah, I got your point. Normally, insurance uh, companies in India do not write more than 20 times of your last five idea, whatever income you have generated for the last two three years, average income you showed in last two three years ideas. 20 times of that is easily available. Beyond that, it is matter of underwriting and insurers may underwrite your policy or may decline your policy. I am not saying that they will not underwrite. They will judge your situation and based upon your situation, based upon your career growth, they may underwrite a higher policy also. Normally, it is 20 times of your annual income. Here, please. What is the role of Insurance for home loan. Good. Insurance for home loan, popularly called mortgage term loan, one thing which is many times bundled by home loan provider. Like SBI is offering Renaksha policy. Similarly, all the other home loan providers are having one type of this policy. In mortgage term cover, whatever your principal is coming down at any given point of time, that is your sub assurance. For example, you have taken a loan of 40 lakh rupees. After 5 years, your outstanding loan amount is 35, uh, 35 lakh rupees. So your sum assured in that policy is now 35 lakh. After 10 years, it is 25 lakh. So your term cover is under auto linked policy is only 25 lakh. After 15 years, if it is 5 lakh rupees, your loan cover is uh, sum assured is in that policy is only 5 lakh. It is cheaper in the sense risk for the insurer is coming down. If you want to purchase this type of policy, please do not bundle it with your home loan by increasing the loan amount. Please purchase it separately for 40,000, 50,000, 70,000, 1 lakh, 1.5 lakh rupees, single linear outgo, if you want to do that. But my personal choice will be to have a large enough term cover, 1 crore, 1.5 crore, so that it covers your family protection as well as your loan protection. And going forward, for example,